everybody. My name is E-Double. Their name is PJ Harvey. Let's go. Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 92 and today I have something a little bit different for you guys. If you like this, I may do some more of them in the future, but what it is, is going to be an informed side that's heavily, heavily underused. So you all wanted me to do a part of this premiership, you keep telling me to do this squad. And I'm finally going to do one, but I'm going to do it my way and going to do something a little bit different than try and be original. Because I really, really hate people that just have all the same squads, like have Louise and Sturridge, all that crap stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to do all informed. We're going to start off with Foster. He's an absolute beast, this lad. He can absolutely save everything. But there is so rare on the marketplace. That, so he's started to put his price around 20k. I'm going to just pick mine up 16k. Uh, and I just checked the marketplace. And I did actually sell him for 20k the other day. So yeah, uh, he is plays a lot like the informed Joe Hart. Or Team Your Joe Hart. Except from claiming crosses. That's his weakness, I would say. is trying to punch the crosses. Because of his height, I really does let him down. We know to the next player, and that's going to be Sawcross. Someone I'm really, really surprised. He's got beautiful heading. He's got a lot of goals with him. He's got 6 in any pace too, so he's not really a slouch. Him and the next man, Hoof, make this kind of brick wall, along with the other centre-back. I'll speak about him in a few seconds. I like to call Hoof uh, Dolph Lundrum or He-Man, because I think it looks exactly the same, or Ivan Drago, if you prefer, from Rocky IV. Uh, he's got 90, 90 defending, so he's all around beast. He's defending stats. If you ever run in or someone's trying to pace abuse by him, if he gets shoulder to shoulder, he's just going to push him off the ball. Not a problem. But the sad thing about him is he's 64 pace, so if they do get by him, he's no one near going to catch him. Moving on to Evans, is probably the quickest, is actually the quickest centre back, I would say. 70 pace on him. He's really, really rare on the marketplace. There's only about one or two up at one time. Uh, but he's really, really good. I was quite surprised by him because I was looking at his stats and wasn't really expecting much because of his height and etc. But him, Hoof, and Shawcross, when they're so positionally. Uh, in the right place, so like around the box, they just make this kind of wall and it just stop anything from getting by. Uh, moving on to the next player, and that's going to be Matt Jarvis, someone I absolutely loves. Got a beautiful free kick, got a beautiful cross, and his corners somehow really work. If you stick him on a corner, it just seems to get so much bend on it, it just always seems to turn into a goal. That's probably why my defender scored so many goals, it's all because of him. The next player is going to be the informed Charlie Adam, of course, the Liverpool. His price have dropped now because everyone's panic selling in case his Stoke version becomes an 82 inform. So everybody's panicking and selling him right away. So you'll be able to pick him up cheap now in the Liverpool inform. A uh, really solid player. Uh, he's got beautiful passing. He's got a nice free kick as well. Left footed free kick. I like to swap him and Jarvis around from doing my free kicks. They're my two free kick takers. Uh, I played a lot of games with this squad and he scored six goals, all from free kicks. So that's not a bad little turnaround. Moving on to Katamo, and this player is an absolute beast. No idea why he's got an inform. I've only ever seen him getting sent off every game I seem to watch him on match of the day. He always seems to get uh, sent off, but he plays exactly the way he does, as you would expect in real life. He's got a high attack, a uh, high defender work rate, so he's always helping the defence out because of his quick pace as well. And he's got high aggression. I think it's like 99 aggression, so as soon as he bangs into him, he's taking the ball off him. The next player is going to be Chris Eagles, a six foot uh, player with four star skill moves and four star weak foot which is really really surprising i've no idea why no one else has ever spoke about him because he's got absolute beautiful long shot and a six foot player with four stars and four star weak foot is unbelievable definitely try him out everton i believe is the next player that's another informed stoke player got 91 pace that's probably the stat that is grabbing your attention the most 85 shooting as well his shooting isn't great lads i'm not going to lie to you guys it doesn't really seem forward that much matt jarvis Sort of plays left wing and he just sort of drifts backwards everything. So he does help out the defence with his 91 pace and really does uh, stop those pace abusers. But when they do get through, uh, it is kind of caught stranded because I do kind of miss a left wing position. Moving on to the next player, that's going to be Wayne Routledge, I believe that's pronounced. 87 pace on him, uh, only 70 passing, which is kind of a life. He's got an absolute beautiful curl pass. I believe if you if you ever play pro clubs, so you can get the, the curve pass. He's got that trait, just kind of curls right by him. And he's got absolute great ball control and a really good uh, left finesse shot. Moving on to the next player, by far my favourite player in the entire squad, and that's going to be Demetov Berbatov. He's my man, I've scored a f my scorpion kick with, uh, I've never done one, and I was using this squad with him him and Matt Jarvis with those crosses. He just seems to finish everything, he's such a classy player, he's got nice wee fancy flicks, and I've actually scored an overhead kick goal with him as well. But there is going to be no highlights in this video, lads, and I've got to just quickly explain why. If you can remember a week ago when I was saying I could not get any games and I was building squads and I was really frustrating how I couldn't get any clips. Well, this is one of the squads that has suffered because of it. What happens when you've got HDPVR is when your PS3 freezes or if it gets signed out, you've got to quit back to the main menu. And what that does is it basically turns your PVR off or recycles the data. So we, all your saved games, all my saved games, that's where the squad has tried to play 15 games. I didn't finish, finish any of them. Uh, so I was getting signed out all the time. It was absolutely insane. I made a video complaining about the servers that time. So yeah, that really did let me down. I'd love to get some nice clips for this. I maybe do that in the future if you'd be interested in seeing more highlights. I'd definitely get some more of the goals with Dimitar Berbatov. 
but yeah, he's all wanted that Barley's Premiership squad, so this series was just showing you, you don't have to be like everyone else, you can be original if you just put the time and effort into it, but as always, I've been CJ Novo 92, thank you for watching, and bye bye